Imagine a world where losing a tooth doesn't mean a lifetime of crowns, bridges, or cold metal implants screwed into your jawbone. No more months of healing, no more awkward gaps, just a brand new living tooth grown from your own cells, perfectly integrated, fully alive. That future isn't science fiction. It's happening right now in labs around the world. At King's College London, Dr. Anna Angelova Volponi is leading the charge. For nearly two decades, she's been chasing the dream of regenerative teeth. And this year, her team made a breakthrough. They start with two types of cells, epithelial cells, which form enamel, and mesenchymal cells, which build dentin and pulp. These are the same cells that form teeth and embryos. They harvest them, mix them into a tiny pellet, and inject that pellet into a special hydrogel. This isn't just any gel. It's a water-rich 3D environment that mimics the soft, dynamic conditions inside your mouth. The pH, the texture, the microbiome-like signals, everything is tuned to let the cells talk, and talk they do. In just eight days, that pellet transforms into tooth primordia, miniature tooth buds with distinct layers, enamel, dentin, even early roots. Then they transplant these buds into mice. Within weeks, they grow into fully functional teeth, complete with blood vessels, nerves, and a strong connection to the jaw. This builds on a historic 2013 experiment where Volponi's team grew the first hybrid tooth using adult human gum cells and mouse embryo cells. But that used collagen scaffolds, stiff, limited. Now with hydrogel, cell communication is sharper, growth is more consistent, and the path to fully human teeth is clearer. The goal? Replace mouse cells entirely with adult human stem cells, maybe even from your own gums or wisdom teeth. No embryos, no rejection, just your biology reborn. But London isn't alone in this race. In Osaka, Japan, Dr. Katsu Takahashi is running human clinical trials on an antibody that reactivates dormant tooth buds. Some people are born missing teeth, a condition called anodontia. Takahashi's treatment tells the body, you do have the blueprint. Wake it up early results are promising. Approval could come by 2030. Across the Pacific, at Tufts University, Dr. Pamela Yellick is growing human-like teeth in pigs. Pigs naturally regrow teeth multiple times the same regrowth in humans, without any pig cells in the final product. Meanwhile, at the University of Washington, Dr. Hanala Rohola Baker is reverse engineering tooth development from the ground up. Using donated wisdom teeth, her lab turns stem cells into every cell type needed to build a tooth from scratch. They're mapping the molecular conversation, the genetic handshake that says, start growing enamel here, build a root there, so how will this actually work in your mouth? Two paths are emerging. Option one, grow the tooth halfway in the lab, just to the bud stage. Then place it into your empty socket. Your jaw takes over, blood vessels connect, bone remodels, and the tooth finishes growing naturally, like a seed in soil. Option two, grow the entire tooth in a dish, roots and all, then surgically implant it like a perfect biological replacement. No foreign materials, no inflammation. Full sensation, bite force, elasticity, it moves, it feels, it is your tooth. The advantages are massive. Dental implants fuse to bone but don't flex. They can't sense temperature or pressure like real teeth. Lab-grown teeth, they integrate completely. No infection risk, no loosening over time. And for kids born without teeth, this could mean a full natural smile, no prosthetics, no stigma. Challenges remain, scaling production, ensuring long-term stability, navigating ethics and regulation, but momentum is building. Dr. Ruahola Baker says it plainly, clinical translation will take time, but we're less than a decade away from biological tooth replacement becoming real. The next time you lose a tooth, whether from age, injury, or decay, you might not replace it with metal. You might just regrow it. And the dentist, they'll finally have something to smile about too.